there was a guy that we've made fun of a bunch on the show who was a, a pastor to a lot of famous people. He was like the hip young pastor. Who just got busted? Yeah, he just yeah, got busted. Oh, right. Banging some chick. Yeah. And we made fun of him because uh, I'm like, look, this guy's, there's no way this guy's religious. This is what I was saying. Well, because he was wearing these shorts that showed what I called his dick root. Hmm. Like he wears these shorts that go way low. Which you just don't wear your shorts like that unless you want someone to think about your like that's that's why you wear your shorts like that. Right. Well, that guy wants people to that's that guy wants people to lust after him, and uh, it it wound up sabotaging him. Absolutely. You know, ultimately, well, you're right. pretending to be profound. You're pretending to be pious. You're pretending to be enlightened. You're pretending to be above it all, but you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just one of us. Right. Or equal or consistent. In other words, live in a way that is consistent with the kingdom you are in, consistent with what you believe, consistent with what you know to be true, consistent with what you confess, with what you teach, with what you proclaim. This is integrity. This is what it is to be a Christian. Live a life consistent with your confession. The worst of all possible things to undermine the integrity of Christianity is to profess to be a Christian and behave in a way that is absolutely antithetical to what it means to be a Christian. Better that you never say it than that you claim it and don't live it.